Hi, I'm Natalie Brunel here with OKCoin, and I'm lucky enough to interview Yam Karkai. She is a digital artist, NFT artist, and the co-creator of World of Women. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So what sparked the idea for World of Women? All I draw is women, just to start with. Like, I never draw anything but women, because my whole theme behind my art was female empowerment and diversity um, and representing minorities. So for me, it's really about the, the woman experience, you know, and who we are and what we want and how we want to be seen. So when you create an NFT collection, do you have an idea of all the pieces that you want or do you kind of create them as you go? Like, put us in the mindset of someone creating one of these collections. So the thing about collectible projects that are different from single edition art pieces is that collectible projects are a mix of tech and artistry. So basically the process of building something like that because it's 10,000 art pieces after all and that's not possible to do like as a human being on your own um, is that you, I drew 200 individual assets. So for example, 30 hairstyles, like uh, 18 skin tones, etc., etc., and we choose like categories and things that I want to draw and represent. And and then um, our other co-founders who did the smart contract and all of the tech behind it built this code in order to put all the things that I drew together and generate unique art pieces out of it. So what is your goal with the collection? What do you hope people get out of it? For me, my first hope was like, I hope to see that there's a lot of women that feel uh, connected to it. The second one was like, I hope that we motivate other women to do their own collectible projects or other female artists to put themselves out there like more. Right now for us, our objective is really to be this recognized brand all around, not only in the NFT space, because that we've kind of achieved, but also in real life and like do meaningful connections and meaningful collaborations with people. Was there a moment where you're like, oh, this is taking off. This just like sparked into wildfire. I think it was especially the moment where we realized how um, invested the community was and how much people were engaging with each other and with us and, and like just all the emotional stuff that came with it because we just felt like people were legitimately um, connected to us and wanted to be part of this. What does it make you feel that you've made such an impact on the NFT community? On the one side, I'm very happy and it means everything to me. And on the other side, it's an immense amount of pressure just because you started something and you have to deliver the absolute best that you can every single day for the rest of the like life of your project. I mean, we're 10 people right now working uh, behind World of Women and we're all doing a little bit of everything mm -hmm. just because there's so much to do. So weeks are very long, days are very long, but it's worth it because we like it. We like what we're doing. Yeah, you can definitely see and feel your passion, which is exciting. Yeah. For people out there that are watching this who maybe are artists themselves or they might want to start an NFT collection, what's your advice? I would say stick to what you want to do and don't let um, what is working influence you because that's a big mistake that people do. They come, they come with an idea for a collectible project or a piece of art and it's great, but then they change it because they see what has worked before and they think that they're supposed to copy it or do something similar, but you should just do what's truthful to you. What's something you wish you knew when you started this journey? I wish I knew that gas is so expensive. <laughs> the gas uh, fees? Yeah, the gas fees are <laughs> Horrible. I don't know. I, I guess that I also just wished that it was easier to understand everything when I got in. Like, I feel like now there's a bit more resources and, and you know, more people in little communities, but at the time there wasn't so many. I mean, I found the NFT goddesses, which is a group of women in the NFT space that helped me a lot. Okay, so Reese has her profile picture, who's your dream celebrity that would be a world of women NFT girl or lady. My dream, I hope, I mean, Reese is great. <laughs> uh, I guess Michelle Obama would be quite cool. Um, but there is a lot, there is a lot of like dream celebrities. Um, but yeah, Michelle Obama would be amazing. Malala. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, inspiring women. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's, that's what we'll end on since uh, Michelle Obama might watch this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. And congratulations on World of Women. Thank you so much, this was cool.